Hello everyone, my name is George Diaz, President and Founder of Larry Jacob Internet Marketing, an Infusionsoft uh, Certified Consultant. And uh, this is another episode of How Do You Define Infusionsoft Success? Um, I've got Bryce Christensen, who's um, a second timer now on this. And um, the reason I brought him back is because plus this um, has added another tool to the tool chest. Um, I was at I was at Infusionsoft headquarters or somewhere, and, and someone mentioned, oh, by the way, you know, plus this now does Facebook, um, I guess, custom audience coordination with Infusionsoft. And I thought I'd bring Bryce on so he can kind of tell us about it and describe kind of the audiences that, that it addresses. Uh, how you doing, Bryce? Good, yeah. Thanks again for inviting me out another time to talk a little bit about some of the cool new features we can add to Infusionsoft. Right, right. and and. Um, you know, like I, I talk about plus this, and there's a number of other tools that, that other vendors offer that are similar to yours, and that I call it like the toolbox. Um, yeah. And a lot of times, like for example, I first discovered plus this because of the go-to meeting coordination, and that I had been doing it with my own scripts and stuff, and that was just kind of a pain to manage. And I used it for that, and then later it's like, oh look, you can manage the way videos, how far through a, a video goes through. And, and on and on and on, but this, for the same price now, gives me um, Facebook ad coordination, and I guess we can talk about what yeah. that is exactly, uh, in the same toolbox. Yeah, totally. Um, so do you want me to just go ahead and go right into what those are, what the yeah, Facebook and, stuff? Is? Yeah, and can you, because um, here's the thing is, it, I know I had a hard time, because you know, again, there are other vendors that are doing similar to this, and. Uh, honestly, I didn't get it at first, like why it mattered. Sure. So if, if you could kind of talk about, well, first of all, why this? Because it seems, I don't know, all of plus this kind of seems to be <laughs> why you know, this like feature? a hodgepodge of stuff. It's but how, how did you guys get into it? You, you know, just tell us. And then who who's the customer? Who's the person that really needs this? Yeah, so we got into Facebook because we we basically hear from our customers what it is they are kind of looking for next from, for a tool from Plus This, basically. And probably when we first did Facebook, we did the Facebook custom audiences back in October of last year. And that was our first kind of step into a Facebook integration, basically. And um, today we have another Facebook feature called Lead Ads, but I'll kind of get into those in a little bit. Oh, okay, so you guys um, are doing Lead Ads as well. Yes, exactly. Cool. So we've kind of had an eye on Facebook. There's a lot of, if you're doing any kind of advertisements there, uh, a lot of people are having lots of success. It's pretty good ROI. And um, we just want to help Infusionsoft users target the right people and automate as much of that as possible. So that's kind of how the idea came about, basically. Okay, so, so I mean, maybe f the folks listening aren't 100% familiar with this, but Facebook now has sure. custom audiences which means I can come up and I can upload a list of email addresses and say I want my ads targeted at only those email addresses, right? Yeah. Yeah, so here's the, the pain that, was, that people were seeing before there was any integration, basically. So you could always take your list from Infusionsoft, upload it to Facebook, and make a custom audience, and then send ads to that, right? Right, right. But here's, here's the thing where it got really annoying. <laughs> Say you were sending your list all to, Infusion, or to Facebook and you wanted to send them an ad for like one of your lead magnets basically, right? And so some of those people probably end up downloading your lead magnet and now if you wanted to remove them from seeing that ad, you had to go back to your Infusionsoft list, um, put a tag on the people who actually downloaded it, uh, change your list around so you upload those people and remove them from seeing those ads. And there's a lot of a tedious process right, where so you're either wasting a lot of time, or you're either you're wasting a lot of time, or you're wasting money f showing ads to people who already have your your lead magnet, right? Yeah, and that was kind of just custom audiences in the most general, basic uh, aspect of it. Now there are people who are very skilled with Facebook ads, and they wanted to say you have a campaign, say it's a webinar. And you want to start out with an ad to invite people to your webinar. Okay. And then you want to go from there and start sending different ads based on whether they attended or whether they didn't attend. And you can imagine now how complex this could get if you're having to 
upload lists, download lists, do all that stuff with Facebook. No, sure. So you, when you'll, we never, first, you'll never get it done. Yeah. So if you understand that kind of concept with these webinars where people, some people will come to your webinar, some will attend, some will not attend, and you wanted to automate the ads that they see afterwards, say like um, the people who attended, in your webinar you probably have some kind of offer and there's probably a time you want to limit that offer to. So it makes sense to share some Facebook ads that maybe hit that offer that these guys saw. Just w that way, you're kind of retargeting, and they're not just you're not relying just on email for them to uh, know about your offers and follow up with that. Yeah, and I too, you know, and and what I missed about that until I kind of really dug into it, my aha was, oh, so I can, I can basically mimic my emails in my Facebook ads and so you're double yeah. targeting with the same message the same people which I thought oh my god okay so this is cool yeah totally and um, and then likewise for the people who didn't attend you might have an ad where it goes sorry we missed you here's our next um, webinar or here's how to get the replay kind of thing so the Facebook feature that we actually created for this to allow all this at the most basic level basically will add or remove someone from a custom audience uh, when they get, come to different parts in your Infusionsoft campaign. So in this example we just gave, you can make a Facebook feature in plus this that adds them to a custom audience only for webinar attendees. And then you tell Infusionsoft, you just put an HTTP post that we make the link for in right. plus this, and you just put that after the tag that shows they attended. And if you're using our go to webinar, it's really easy for that too. But you can use any webinar service as long as you have some kind of tag and you put an HTTP post after that. Basically. Right. So I'm just doing the HTTP post and not saying put this into that custom link into exactly. that custom audience. So anytime you run this webinar and they attend, it hits the HTTP post and puts those guys automatically into the correct custom audience for the ads you want to see. And then you can easily remove them from that. Say it's a timed offering and it's only going for three days, and you don't want to have to remember to move all these people out in three days. Just put a timer for three days, and then another HTTP post that removes them from that audience. Nice. It's quite that's quite simple in that regards. Right, right. So, so you're just going into your control panel, and it's just saying which. I mean, I, I guess you have to give it the login to your Facebook and all, but if you tell it which yeah. custom audience. So when you go into Plus This and you want to set up a Facebook uh, custom audience feature, you connect your Facebook with Plus This, so Plus This knows okay what custom audiences do you have. And then you can make new custom audiences right there if you are just getting started. Or you can click a drop down and it finds all your custom audiences that you already have set up. And you can just say, okay, when they hit this HTTP post, uh, add them to this custom audience. And then the next one is remove them from this custom audience. So you can do combinations there if you want to add and remove or just remove or just add. You can do all those kinds of things. Oh, very cool. And then it's really, that's it. You just click submit. And then plus this gives you an HTTP post. You copy that little URL, put it into an HTTP post in your campaign where you want that to run, and you're done. It automates that whole process now. Very good. Very good. Yeah, it's, it works really well. Also on any kind of like lead gen funnels where you have like a process you want them to go through. So it could be, for example, download your guide, open the guide, start a free trial. Now they're a customer, maybe some implementation guides or testimonials or something like that. Yeah, yeah you know. The, so if you have like you're going driving through and you want to, like you said, hit have your emails, but in like ad forms on Facebook, then that's a good way to do it. Right. And it keeps your costs down low. Yeah, well, and you can also come up then and, and use your um, like if you're pixeling people. Um, yes. You know, you can come up and as they get pixeled, you can come up and then start um, targeting things at them as well, right? Yeah, so you got to be careful with the different kinds of audiences. If you want to automatically add people to an audience, there's only one type of audience that Facebook allows you to do that with. And um, it's called like a custom audience, and then it's like a list type or whatever, because that's the only one that connects to Facebook's API. Okay. So pixels you can do, but you, they'll kind of be their own audience to just pixel people, where the list ones are separate. They're kept in their own bucket, basically. Gotcha, gotcha. But you can have more than one audience on an ad. Sure. So yeah. Sure. So okay, um, so you you were you were then um, telling us that you guys are now involved. I guess there's an API for the lead. Um, what's it called? Lead yeah. pages. Perfect. Yeah, lead ads. Lead ads. So 
this is a really cool new way of doing ads on Facebook. So what I tell people, because I was just at Icon, and we had a lot of people coming by because there's there's all these different Facebook uh, services out there, and so it's really confusing <laughs> for a lot oh, of people yeah. who've never done anything. But what is a lead ad? What does that even mean? So a lead ad is like a type of Facebook ad. If you've gone on Facebook, you see like those carousel ads, you see video ads, you see like all these different types. Lead ad is just another type of ad. And what's cool about these is that, say you have your free downloadable guide you want to put on an ad, and when they click that download button, normally what happens is you go to your web, you take them to your website and they fill out a form there, right? Right, right. But with the lead ad, instead of it taking you to your website, it keeps them right there on Facebook and just opens up like a form right where you're, they are at, and it auto-populates their name, their email, and they just have to click submit. Okay. And so, again, back to the pain that people were having before we had an integration, is that if you have these lead ads, and you put your free guide on there, and they hit submit, that lead would stay in Facebook's cloud, along with all the other leads you generated, until you came and manually downloaded all your leads, and exported them and put them into Infusionsoft, added the tag, and ran the campaign to actually deliver what they downloaded, basically. Okay. So, so very our manual. lead ad integration just made that all automatic. As soon as they hit submit on that form, it goes to Facebook Cloud, tells Plus this, hey, we have a new lead for you. Plus this grabs it, tags them, and starts the campaign they're supposed to get. Nice. Okay, so it's going to yeah. create a new contact if one's not there. If one's already there, it'll add yeah. a tag to it. Yep. Oh, that's and that and the setup for that is really simple too. When you go and plus this, you're going to have your Facebook connected if you already did, or just connected if it's starting out. And you only do that once. Once you're good, and then you're going to just select the lead ad that you want to uh, apply this for, and then the tag you want applied when someone fills that out. And then you get the HTTP post, and you're good to go again. Boom, done. Good, good, and then the, the tag can be used. Yeah, and the tag oh, can sorry. be used to. Sorry, that one you just have a tag, so you're good. Right, right, and the tag can then be used to kick off campaigns or you know whatever you want to do with it. Right. Exactly. That has a goal for the delivery, and you're done. Very good. Well, that's a nice feature. Is there anything now? I mean, I mean that seems pretty straightforward to me. Um, are there other um, you know new things that you've added to there? I mean, I just thought this was one that was worth covering because you know there's so many other products out there that everybody hear about and they may already have it. Yeah, um, I'd say the the new ones and the ones that people are using the most are go to webinar, like you said. Right. Uh, smart links are just they're so versatile, um, and people are coming up with new uses for it all the time. And those again are basically a link you can make in Plus This that will take people to different pages based on like what tags they have. Right. So you have a lot of people that use them for like. If you fill out a form and you do some segmenting questions, say it's a recipe book, mm -hmm. and you ask what kind of recipes they're interested in, when they actually fill that out, based on, say, they choose vegetarian ones, when they click on that, boom, the thank you page is all for vegetarians, basically, yeah. and stuff like that. So SmartLinks have been really fun. Um, people use them for automated webinars. That's another new thing people like. I'm going to come up with an idea guide to show people how uh, some of our users are using SmartLinks to create automated webinars using Plus This, yeah, which is really cool. Yeah, we're using them uh, to uh, have like a limited time offer. So, you know, at the end yeah. of a campaign, we'll send them to a page that's got an offer. And then on the, on the day that it shuts down, we change the URL and it takes them to, sorry, it's not available anymore. Yeah, exactly. That is, that's the best way to use them, I think. Um, usually if you set up a few of those limited time offer, kind of evergreen uh, offers there, basically, uh, that helps pay for plus this all by itself. Yeah. The few extra conversions you get out of it is just incredible. Yeah, no, no, I totally yeah. agree. Cool. Well, that's what I wanted to kind of chat with you about. Um, um, again, I have plus this, so I'm kind of like going, okay, great. And I was actually paying for one of the other solutions, uh, not not even knowing I had it, which is why I thought it'd be like <laughs> ideal to cover right now. No, totally. Yeah, and if people are just interested in like, some ideas of what Plus This can do for their business. We just came out with this new 200-page uh, PDF booklet called Campaigns of the Titans, and it includes oh, campaigns that. that we've gotten. Yeah, it's really cool. We got so the last two months, I've just been basically pounding out the content for that, and so I reached out to people like Frank Kern, 
uh, digital marketer. Um, we have Dave Ramsey's Entre Leadership in there. A bunch of big names that have that use Plus This, and they sh basically break down a campaign of theirs that uses Plus This, and we walk you step by step through every little bit of that campaign. So you can see how they do some cool things with it, and how to set it up yourself if you want to do one just like them. Right. So is that an opt-in? Is, is, is that an opt-in that you guys have? Yeah, it's just uh, plusthis.com/titans. Okay. T I T A. Well, here, here's what yeah. I'm going to do. I'm going to ask you to send that to me so I get it right, and yeah. um, I'll make sure that when I post this, uh, we're probably going to be posting it next week, um, so sure. people have access to that. Because uh, again, my biggest problem with plus this, and even with my team, is is um, you know if they've never used it, they'll come up and it's like, hey, I built this, and it's like, oh, <laughs> that's something that we <laughs> use plus this for, because you just don't think of all the the the, the things that are in there. Yeah, like you said, it's a toolbox. So some people can take the same tools and make something completely different with it, right? So, uh, well, very good. Hey, um, I appreciate yeah. uh, you spending, uh, you know, the 15, 20 minutes with us explaining uh, how this works. And um, thanks a lot. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks again. Okay, take care. Bye.